Hey everyone, this is Andy back with another video. Welcome back to my channel. I just want to make a quick video letting you guys know that I'm returning the 21 Acura TLX back to Bridgewater Acura today. They called me and they basically said that my vehicle is done. So I'm driving back there to return it. So I just want to make a quick video um, letting you guys know what I think about it. I'm going to you know, tell you a couple of things I like about it, a couple of things I don't like about it. So first, um, the first thing I like about it is that the handling and uh, suspension is really good in this vehicle. It basically reminds me of the Acura uh, RDX, which I also have and own. It's actually my wife's that I, um, that I have drove, driven before. So the steering handle is pretty good, especially if you have it in sport mode. Uh, the sport mode makes a difference. I also found out that if you this car has an individual mode where you can basically set your own um, steering, your own um, suspension, all that, and you can also uh, turn off the actual start and stop feature in individual mode. So that's why I found out. That's what I really like about it because the RDX does not have that feature. And uh, the second thing I like about this vehicle is the actual seats. The uh, seats are really comfortable. You know, I've been sitting here, you know, for a couple of hours, you know, and um, the, com the seats are really comfortable. Like, uh, it's not hard at all. It has the right support and cushioning. It um, has a lot of adjustability as far as uh, your, your back is concerned, um, your legs, and it has a lot of adjustment levels. So that's another good thing. And uh, the next thing is uh, I like is the, the lighting and uh, the technology in this film. Uh, car the lighting's pretty good as far as the outside I did a video on nighttime driving a little bit and um, it illuminates the road pretty much really well and the inside has like you know some accent lightings you actually change it change in control as well so that one's pretty good and uh, you, all, all the all the buttons are actually lit up so you can see all the, the buttons displayed you know clearly so that's you know a good thing and um, those are some of the things I actually like so some of the things I don't like is uh, number one the space for this vehicle like especially in the back um, it's not as roomy because uh, if you're like six foot you're definitely gonna hit your head on the roof because it does have like a, a slanted roof a slope so that's that's one thing um, I don't suggest people who are like six feet and over to be in this vehicle for that long I mean you, you will fit and you do you do fit but it won't be comfortable on like long trips so that's that's another thing um, the next thing is the spare tire there this vehicle does not come with a spare tire at all and I don't know you can actually uh, put a spare tire in this because they put the battery right in the middle of the wheel well in the back seat of the trunk so it's i don't know how you put that so that's a downfall for me i like to have a peace of mind to able to change a flat have i had one rather use a fix a flat kit and uh, the thing is uh, from my experience you never know uh, because when i sold my tlx i um i actually um took out the fix a flat kit and i found out the um, the can was like out of date and the the can wasn't even um filled up because it actually leaked so that was a thing uh, that I didn't like so if you're in that situation and you never check your uh, seal it um, and you let's say you, you want to use it you might be in a situation and you can't use it and then you have to get like a, a you know your car towed or something you know that'd be really inconvenient for you at least this way you have, you have a flat you know if you have a spare tire you can maybe fix it you know change it and go on your way but this one you have to be told if you have nothing available so that's that's another thing I didn't like about it and the third is the wireless um, car plate that is not in this vehicle they have a, a car charging pad on the side here but uh, there's no wireless car plate so I was reading I was checking out the RDX the new one the 2022 I believe has wireless uh, car plate Android Auto so that's a good thing. Maybe they're gonna update it, update this for the TLX. But that's another thing, you know. I can charge my my phone, but then I have to use a cord to connect to the the head unit or the full system. So that's 
inconvenient to me, but you know what? Maybe they did that on purpose. So for the next upgrade, basically forces you to um, get that feature and upgrade your car. Maybe that's why they did it, I don't know. So those are some of the things I didn't like about it. And um, basically I just wanna let you guys know uh, what I really think about it. You know, it's this car is the Vance model is a forty-five thousand dollar car, I believe, or around maybe fifty. But I wouldn't pay that much for the vehicle, and um, I probably wait until uh, this is a certified used car or certified pre-owned before I actually would buy it. But uh, that's just me. I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad car, but I wouldn't pay that much for it. So. I just want to give you a quick insight on the vehicle. I mean, like I said, I, I do really like it, but at that price point, uh, I wouldn't pay forty-five thousand dollars for a car, even though it's it's pretty good value, um, you know, for for its price point. But just that's just me. I wouldn't I wouldn't pay for it. But other than that, it's a really good car. But um, just want to let you know, um, you like my content, please subscribe because I'm getting my TL back. Um, like my videos and I'll see you in the next one. All right. Bye